is going on golfers? Today I have the most requested video ever. This is on TikTok, Instagram, now YouTube. Can you please do a what's in the bag for 2022? This bag is almost complete. I have everything but two items left for this year. So I'm going through the entire bag, starting with my driver, all the way down to the putter, and down at scratch 18, as you saw in the intro. Let's get this underway. As many of you know, I got a brand new putter in the summer. I'm gonna leave that last and go through my driver first. This I only got the other day. I actually got the driver head a couple of weeks ago, but I custom built this driver with a brand new shaft. So let's get into it. This is the brand new TaylorMade Stealth Plus. It's in a nine degree head, it's standard loft, and I have got the Tor AD DI6 Orange Deep Impact Shaft. This is an extra stiff in a 67 gram weight. It is a thing of beauty. This might be the best upgrade I have ever done to any of my clubs. And I'm so happy that it's in the TaylorMade Stealth Head. To go with it, I have got the Golf Pride Multi-Compound Grip in orange, black and white to match the shaft and the head. I've never used a multi-compound grip before, but I'm in love. I love that the top bit has a bit of a rough texture for your glove and then the bottom half of the grip is more softer for obviously your naked hands. But this driver build, it looks incredible. I'm over the moon with it. Just quickly guys, because I feel like it's really important to say this. I've never been fitted for a custom driver until now. And I can't stress to you how important it actually is. I get so many comments on Instagram, on TikTok. Is a custom fitting worth it? And the answer is yes. And I mean yes. Going to a custom fitted driver from having a stock driver straight off the shelf was insane. The difference in distance, the being confident over the ball is dramatic. And I'm gonna dedicate an entire video next week on showing you stock driver versus custom driver and why you should be fitted for your driver. And I'm not just talking about the driver head, but I'm talking about the shaft as well. There's so many different shafts out there that are made for you, your swing speed and your style. So I'm gonna go next week into detail about the shaft that could be yours and the different driver heads and why this build is perfect for me. But this is my old shaft, my head's at home, but next week you will see why. I want to add that with this TaylorMade Stealth driver, I have in fact moved the weight all the way to the toe of the driver. So it's set on fade. What this does is it adds weight to the front head of the driver so basically it helps me at impact. I have a really big tendency of closing the face. So obviously with this, it helps me open up the face, weights at the toe to hit that more straighter shot. But I want to just add to you that I have moved the weight scale of this driver on this build. So that is what I'll be playing with in my bag. So. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, Louis. The reason I did that is my three words and my five word is the exact same build. So I'm gonna show you the free wood. So the free wood is in a 15 degree loft and it's the TaylorMade Sim free wood. So in the free wood, I've got the Ventus Blue stock shaft by TaylorMade. I've got the standard TaylorMade Gold Pride grip. Again, I've got this in my five wood and my free wood. I did get fitted for this, but this wasn't a custom fitting. I literally got this from the shelf and it was perfect. It was a perfect match. I was able to hit it sweet and they have stayed in my bag for the last two years, but they will be replacing. So stay tuned for that. I absolutely love this club. This is like cheating on the golf course, especially in the summer. It is my two iron. It is the P790 two iron in the hazardous smoke 6.0 stiff shaft. And it's got the regular golf pride grip in it. This is standard. I literally bought this off a website and it came next day. And ever since it, it's always been in my bag. I love it, but I don't use it in the winter. I actually swap it out for my five wood. But in the summer, five wood goes out, two iron goes in. Moving on to my irons, I absolutely love these irons. These are the TaylorMade P7 MC irons. I range these from my four iron all the way to my pitching wedge. They are an inch and a half longer in length, and I have the same shaft running throughout my irons, including my wedges. The shaft is a KBS Tor 120S stiff shaft with the standard TaylorMade Golf Pride grip. It's a standard layer 
and these range all the way from four to pitch and wedge. Many of you have already seen these wedges. I got them at the back end of last year, but these are the tailor-made MG3 satin black wedges. They are in a 58, a 54, and a 50, all in the same grind. So I haven't changed the grind throughout it. I haven't changed the shaft. The shaft is a KBS Tor 120S shaft, same as in my irons. And I've got the tailor-made, again, you can see a pattern coming along, Lamkin cross-line grips. This right here is my baby. So I got this at the back end of last year in 2021. This is, can't believe I've actually got this in my hands. This is a Scotty Cameron triple black concept potter. Let me just show you this. For those that don't know why it's called the Scotty Triple Black, black head, pearl black shaft, and the black pencil grip, hence the triple black. This thing is beautiful, but I've only used it about three times. But in the summer, it will be in my bag permanently. Now it's got the standard 10 weight in it, and it is honestly a thing of beauty. This is the Bushnell Rangefinder, the V5 model. This is the Bushnell V5 Tour Rangefinder. I thought I'd just add it at the end because it is what is in my bag this year. I haven't actually got any in my bag right now, but my ball of choice this year is a Titleist Pro V1. Standard choice, but it's a good ball, it does the job, and that is the bag for this year. I forgot to mention that I will be linking all the products in the description. This isn't an ad or a sponsorship in any way. I just think it'll be easier for you guys if you wanted to go out and buy these clubs. For example, my putter, my wedges, irons or driver, you can literally just go down into the link and click on it to see it for yourself. But the entire set, this entire bag, is from Clubhouse Golf. They are usually the retailer that I buy all my stuff from, so clothes, clubs, etc. Um, so a big thank you to them. They actually helped me get my putter and my driver in quick time. So I want to say thank you to them. I also want to say thank you to Scratch18, which is the simulator facility that I film at down at Essex. So all these sims that you see me film on, this one, the second one, and the first one, is down at Scratch18. So a big thank you to them. So guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. If you can, go subscribe, like, do a comment if you fancy, hit the bell notification for, to see next week's video. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.